It's like the whole universe in there. Here's this kid bringing thousands of people together, and yet he's all alone, carrying a torch that's so bright it's burning him. Joshua doesn't want to wake up in 20 years' time and regret his silence. His story reminds me of my own, of a love unlived and untested. This is the first responsible thing that I've done. You know, I can't, I can't stand being around people for more than a few days, but I forgot about that for the last few weeks. Because you guys are the most amazing people in the world. Yeah. You guys are going to be the best parents ever. Well, we'll try. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> God. But I have incredibly low periods. So low that I can barely move. I am impossible to be around. I uh, can barely answer the phone. I'm totally unreliable as a friend. In fact, in some ways, I'm probably the worst friend you could ever have. Uh, don't check a single box. I have a meeting five minutes ago. Okay. Phyllis, hey, those guys from admin in my office, tell them we have to cancel today. I'll see them tomorrow. Yeah, and I'll tell them I'm really sorry. You want to get lunch? In a call on Margo to share a few personal memories of Kenji. The last time that we were all together like this was our joint 140th birthday party when we announced our engagement. I'm sorry now that we didn't have a bigger wedding reception, but I suppose I imagined we would have many opportunities. Ken was not so certain of that. I remember him saying once that at our age, until death do us part, didn't seem like such a big commitment. <laughs> Old love is different. More realistic, maybe. Um, when Ken and I met, we had already been through many ups and downs in life, and we had learned how to compromise. And we had survived loss and mistakes. And somehow we felt if this relationship failed, we would survive this too. I'm not so sure about that anymore. 
got something that I want to say to you, and I want you to really listen and take it in, Madeline. Okay. I want you to know that... that you're a wonderful girl. You're smart. Resourceful. Beautiful. And you will accomplish whatever, whatever you set your heart on. You have grown up to be an extraordinary young woman. You're the daughter of any father's dreams. I am very, very, very proud of you, Madeline. Watching the genius walk away from me, I felt released, split open. His words had been transformational. Suddenly, I was finally grown up. Wait! I think you've always pushed me away from your life and the fun stuff and... Like, you never asked me to come out with you to your parties or premieres or... Like, I wouldn't like it. Like, oh, I'd hate those people because they're such assholes and I'm so sensible. I think you tried to separate me from the fun stuff in your life because you knew if you saw me there, if you saw me in it, you would realize that that's where I should be. And then you'd have to feel bad about it. You made it impossible for me to be a part of your life, Dennis. So don't act surprised when I say that we have nothing in common, because you engineered that. I'm sorry. If I could go back and change any of that, I would, but I can't. But you're right. You're right. And uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Hey, man. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> this is Daniel. This is Guzmin, my old friend. Pleased to meet you. Uh... I hear I have to pass some sort of test. You passed it. Cool. What did I do? Nothing. I saw it in her eyes the moment I saw her. What's the name? I was never looking at the man, Maggie. I was looking at your eyes. Well, that was easy. Don't blow it. Hello, little monkey. Oh, look at you, look at you, look at you, my little monkey. What if life gives you another date? Right now. For real? Blood orange sky. Red tail lights on the river, ten stories high. Some things don't last forever. She was July. He fell like leaves around her, two different skies. But they made a storm together. Yeah, there's a lie. We keep going. Waiting for them at the lost and found at the lost and found. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Lost it.